Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My dear friends, my dear gods, my dear masters. Every day we meditate in group. Every day we read books in group. Every day we do this satsang, alpha training in group. Anything that we do in group is always very, very powerful. Today, let us remember about one great concept that is common sense. Common sense is the greatest quality. Common sense is a must and sure quality of every spiritual master. Let us define what is common sense. If you know what to speak, how much to speak, when to speak, where to speak, then it means you have good common sense. If you know what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat, where to eat, how to eat, that is common sense. If you know how much to think, how much not to think, where to think, how to think, when to think, and that is common sense. In every department, your thinking, your action, your words. If you have the buddhi, then if you perform based on that, then it is considered you have a highest common sense. With great common sense, our soul evolves. The soul growth depends on common sense. If you have any problem in the mind, it shows in the face. If you have any problem in the common sense, it shows in the words. Mostly, it always shows in the words. If a person talks, within few words, we can know whether he has common sense or not. We can't judge a person with few words, but at least we can know whether he has common sense or not. Suppose you have a group of people, somebody speaks something, you might have heard people scolding them like, don't you have common sense? Common is a word, it means there are more, more people. It's a common grounds. There, you must know. The more we progress in spirituality, even the tiniest things matters, like a Himalayan mountain. My Guru Patriji always says, the one thing which is not common is common sense. We must respect everybody. We must treat everybody equal. That is common sense. We only dream about six cents. Astral traveling, third eye. I want to leave. see all my past lives. See the deceased people. All those are okay, there's a sixth sense. But before that, one has to have common sense because the soul growth is depending on it. If you want to understand about your mind, you need to meditate. Then you will see what is happening inside your head. If you want to know how much you talk, what you talk, you must go to the groups and keep talking, then you will understand how much percentage of common sense you have. We must lend our ears to others. Let them share their part. If you don't allow others to talk, then you don't have common sense. Live and let live is the one word I can say, three letter word, perfectly fits for common sense. 
what has to be spoken to one person should be only spoken to that person what has to be spoken in the public has to be spoken in the public not vice versa if you do vice versa whatever you need to do a mass announcement if you tell to one person then there is a problem it means there is no common sense i know a girl 15 years ago when she came to my home she joined for the food she took three spoons of rice bigger spoons and it was like a mount everest in her plate and whatever the pickles the powder the curries we had including the curd everything she poured at the same time mixed everything she started eating that action clearly shows she don't have common sense we have to teach her this is not how you eat first you need to take one item finish then the second then the third then the fourth and even that has a sequence like a barbarian she used to eat when people don't have common sense it is very difficult to be around them because they don't know what they are doing it will put you into trouble because remember common sense is never common if you are serving food you should not wear slippers if you are getting into a stage to perform something you should not go with a shoe or slippers you should remove it and go they are tiny things but everything matters to the soul <clears throat> people with the highest common sense are the gurus they know how much to speak when to speak where to speak what not to speak what to think what not to think when to think even in that how much that is important if you focus you will grow in every area the focus is very important always remember the first is common sense next is sixth sense one after the other you will achieve the more you understand about the energy then you know what not to speak unnecessarily what not to eat unnecessarily so focus on this common sense and see how much do you have go and search in the google for quotes quotations on common sense try to understand different perspective of what people have said about spirituality and common sense you must do some homework Thank you very much my dear friends now please go have good rest we'll again connect tomorrow tomorrow i am going to pyramid valley there are 18 people from malaysia they have come i'll be very glad to go spend time with them meditate play santur then i'll be back again in the evening thank you very much i'll be back again tomorrow at our itp session i'll never miss that Please go have good rest. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.